Hey guys, George Maduro and Alan Blanco with CCO Waterfront. Welcome to our first episode of Boats and Homes. We're going to be going around to the best waterfront subdivisions in Miami. I'm going to be picking out the property and Alan's going to be picking out a boat that matches the property. Yeah, so what we want to do is check out the home, show you that in, in as much detail as we possibly can, and then we're going to line up a boat or yacht, center console, larger boat, whatever best fits this opportunity here specifically, and just show you different options at that. It should be a fun way to show you both the real estate and the boat. So we look forward to showing you more of that very soon. Welcome to Boats and Homes. <laughs> hey guys, so we're here at 340 Luca Dendra in Gables Estates. Gables Estates is a waterfront community here in Coral Gables. You're next to the top private schools, all acre estates or more. I'm here with Jonathan Vega, he's the listing agent along with Sandra Fiorenza with one Sotheby's. This is a 54,000 square foot lot. I'm gonna let Jonathan get into the more specifics of the home, but you can see it's a pre, it's, it's underway right now. It's under construction. We like to show these type of stories so you can see the process as we go along. It's also an opportunity if a buyer was to come in to maybe add your touches to the property. Sweet. So here we have un just over 20,000 total square feet. You got nine bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, two half bathrooms, and the two half bathrooms are actually outside. Uh, we'll get into all the details, but it's a pretty crazy house. It's probably one of the biggest houses here in Gables Estates. And I mean, it's a great opportunity. You customize it, you make it your own, and this is the dream home you've been thinking about for a while. So let's go inside. So Jonathan, we saw the rear of the home. That's why we come here. We love to see Tell it. us a little bit about the rest of the house. We're gonna make our way towards the front now. So the house was completely designed by renowned architect Ramon Pacheco. He's done a lot of homes here in Gables Estates and it has that modern, uh, you know, contemporary feel to it, but it's not too modern, which is what I love about it. And in the front, there'll be a waterfall feature right over there, uh, right next to those columns, and then waterfall uh, uh, water features right under those windows as well. So you're gonna get a lot of water features throughout the whole house that we'll point out. And uh, yeah, this is your grand entrance. Let's, let's make our way in, let's do it. So this is your grand entrance. Right when you walk in, this is what you're looking at. All right, you have your formal living room right over here. And then down that way, you have your office. And what's nice about that office is you have your own separate entrance over there. So your guests or your clients can come in through the courtyard that also has water features and a garden. And uh, then they read it. They don't have to go in through the main entrance, which is nice. The renderings here, you could tell they're, it's, a, it's a real warm, contemporary yeah. uh, feel. I love the the contrast with the stone and the wood. So come over here to the office. So this is the office slash library, and you can tell you get a lot of lighting throughout. All impact windows and doors, of course, but I mean floor to ceiling windows, I mean you just get a ton of natural light in here. So you can work in peace. And then you have that view of the uh, playground, which is nice out there. A little park out there. You don't have a view of a house directly in front of you. So nice views from here as well. You got 40 foot ceilings. Wow, this right. is huge. Yeah, massive. That's really, really high. And then, of course, you got the windows up here as well. So this tower just brings in a ton of light, like, natural light. And then here on the right, you have the uh, wine cellar. They're gonna put, you know, glass here and have a nice. Uh, you know, is this gonna be a glass? glass yeah, there'll be glass there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So their concept was a bar over here, mm -hmm. okay, with your billiards, the table. And then your seating area over here. Uh, and then over closer to the kitchen would be the dining. Okay. That, was, that was their idea. But this could also just be one big entertaining and the dining can be by the entrance. So we'll see. And this is going to be kitchen back here? This is going to be kitchen, yeah. All this is going to be the kitchen. There's two ways you can go about it. You can go about the island being here and the sink being right there on the window, or you could, you know, you can work with it, which is what's nice about this. Somebody can right. buy it and really make it their own. They're in the yeah. process. They're in the process. You wanted to make some operations. Exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. That's pantry back here. Pantry right over here. All right, massive pantry. It goes over there to the left. And then here you have a half bath, all right? Okay. And then this would be the formal dining for most people. That's what probably what people would use it as. They had it, they wanted to make it like a movie room. Okay. Uh, but this is one thing I saw back here, so this staircase is more of a service. So this is a staircase or master, what is, what is that? So this staircase, it goes from the garage, okay, up to here, okay. up to the service, uh, to the main quarters, and then up to the second floor. Okay. And there's an elevator that stops at those four points as well. Nice. Okay. 
So we have the guest room, which will be here on the left-hand side, down the hallway. Okay. okay. And it has its own entrance from this courtyard as well. So like I mentioned before, you have the water features with the garden. Your guests park their cars over there on the side, and they come up with the nice entrance, which is really cool. The gym. This is the perfect house to quarantine in. I mean, right. you, don't have to, you don't have to leave. You well, that's the thing. Talking about quarantining on, you know, you have a boat. You, I think you're going to go be on the water to close all the marinas. Exactly. So exactly. Northeasterners, if you're experiencing quarantine. This is where you want to quarantine. This is where you want to be. So this is probably the biggest in-home gym you'll ever see in your life. This is just the yoga room, meditation room. Okay. You got the steam and the sun. Okay. All right. And then the interior gym. That, you know the. A lot of these new constructions are spec builds where developers come in, they get the land at a certain cost, and they're trying to profit. This particular home was built for an owner user who decided they want to maybe stay on what I understand Miami Beach, Fisher exactly. Island area. Exactly. Uh, but they built this house for themselves. Yes. So the details. Exactly. So attention to detail and everything. It was custom made for them. So they're not cutting corners like a spec home. They're not trying to go cheap on anything. So since it was for them. Uh, it's it's really completely done like at the best quality. So nice. uh, that's you know competitive advantage to other specs. Over the water, yeah. You have your nice boat out there. Alex exactly. gonna match us a nice uh, yacht. That's it. To park out here. How many feet on the water do we have here? So we have two hundred and two feet of oops, sorry, two hundred and two feet of water frontage right here and a hundred and forty foot dock. Okay, Gables Estates. It's important where you're located on the water. Uh, relative to the canals, lagoons, they have some wider spots. And sometimes it could be um, difficult to park as an oversized boat uh, to be able to maneuver. Tell us about the location here and why it's advantageous. Yeah, so what's nice is that you have this little, uh, I guess, channel there, that dead-end channel. Mm -hmm. So if you have a big boat, uh, you're gonna have to back it up. And so any house that lives down that way has to back it up the whole way. Right. What's nice is if you have a big boat, you can pull it in there and then just reverse it right onto your dock, nice and easy. Just like that boat did over there. Did you see that boat? Come on, show that one. So now we're going upstairs. Every bedroom up here has its own bathroom, of course. And Ramon Pacheco is a very well known yeah. architect from South Florida. Um, Ramon Pacheco is known for what is Balinese style, Balinese style, which is perfect for these larger estate homes that you want to kind of have that sprawling look. The Balinese really works well for South Florida, especially with the platform styles and the covered terraces exactly. to be able to escape from the sun and the heat when you come exactly. back from the boat. Exactly, exactly. So kind of make, we're not going to go into each bedroom, but up here you have one, two, three bedrooms. Okay. And these are, are for the kids. They all have their own bathrooms. They're in walk-in closets and they have access to a master okay. outside, okay? You have the master uh, area. So, master area. This is your master area. So there's a bedroom here. This bedroom could be your baby's bedroom or this bedroom can be, uh, you know, the husband's, you know, hangout room and with his closet and with his own bathroom as well. That was their idea with that. And Where does that here, staircase go up there? That goes to the attic. We'll get okay. it in a second. So, here's the master uh, bedroom, the whole master. This is the bathroom. And then here is walk-in closet, which would be hers. This is bigger than my master bedroom. Yep, that's <laughs> not the bedroom. It's <laughs> a closet. Not the bedroom, exactly. So then this is the actual master bedroom. Wow. You get the views of the water, of course, the high ceilings, and then you have your own balcony there as well. Really takes advantage of all the space in here, it's nice. And these windows. Beautiful. By that the master wing area come up here and you have a whole attic space all right now this attic is probably the biggest attic you'll ever see because there are no trusses the house has a concrete roof which is probably one of a handful in gables estates that has that wow. so this allows you to use this space up here it's a massive storage space and obviously for hurricanes and yeah that was the idea here so of course sure. and what's awesome is this up here has an AC unit. This is under an AC. So they have an AC unit that just services this attic space. So anything that you keep up here will keep you know, cool. And as you mentioned, it's it's actually cool up here. Any other yeah. house this close to the to the roof, you're gonna be 
No, exactly. 140 degrees here, it feels like. There's no AC on and we're not sweating one bit in no, here. No, it's There's impressive. There's no AC and that's because of the concrete roof. It doesn't bring in so much heat. So we've seen five bedrooms. This is one of the five. And one of the three I mentioned connects to the balcony. And this balcony out here is gonna have its own fire pit as well. And it has stairs that go down to the pool. And down over here, you have uh, your social area for the family. This is where you and the family would watch some Netflix, hang out, watch some movies at night, um, put the TV here. And then right down over here is one last bedroom that also has its own balcony facing the front uh, view of the garden, which is nice. I've never seen anything like that. This is an elevator. Elevator has four stops. It stops at the garage on the first floor on the staff's quarters and here in the second floor. And we're about to see the staff quarters now. So this is the staff quarters in here. They have their own bathroom, okay? And two bedrooms. And then they have the area here in the laundry room, the laundry area. So a lot of space. Like the staff will be, will be, yeah, the staff will be very comfortable. <laughs> yeah. And then this door right behind you, uh, there's a generator there. That's where the generator is, a full house generator. Uh, you could, I'm pretty sure it could do the whole house if, if right. we need to, right? right? There's some pretty big tanks going in out front, which you probably see in the video. This is a four car garage, one, two, three, four. And if you want to put a lift, you have space for that as well. Right. You know, to store the Ferraris, the Lambos, you name it, you got it here. And was, I love these doors too. You don't see these doors too often. Yeah. These glass doors mm -hmm. that still have light coming in, real nice. And that will come out to the kitchen area. So if you get home, you don't want to park in the garage or whatever the case may be, you can park your car there and you can come up here, go straight into the kitchen. And this is the best idea that Ramon Pacheco does in a while. Which is called, it's an amazing idea. This is a half bath just outside, just for the people who work like landscapers, pool guys. Uh, this is just for them. So they don't have to go inside the house and they don't have to use your cabana bath by the pool. All right? And so this staircase goes up to the kids' uh, balcony okay. that I showed you earlier. Okay? So they can come up and down there. And then you have your massive pool. Water features galore. You have a water, you know, a dead end in the pool that the edge. Infinity edge? Yep. Yeah. Okay? Water feature there. You have here, nice, you can put some lounge chairs, hang out there, and then you'll have a hot tub over here with water features as well. So there'll be a water feature streaming down uh, from, your, from your hot tub. And this is right by your gym. So you can finish the workout, hop in the hot tub, relax, drink a protein shake. Not a bad setup at all. Not a bad setup. Last thing out here is the summer kitchen. So you'll have an island here and your whole summer kitchen, barbecue, refrigerator, you name it, we got it. And then you have your cabana bath right over here. So this is like quarantine. You don't have to leave here for anything. Uh, and you can enjoy your, your views of the water. Hey guys, so it's only right we end up here on the dock. We have 200 feet on the water. There's a straight shot out to the bay here on Luca Dendra with no uh, bridges. So. You're wide open as far as the boat size that you want to bring out. Alan, it's up to you to pick a nice one for us here. Jonathan, thank you so much. For Thanks for having me. I'm home. looking forward to the boat. I want to yeah. see what that yeah. with the boat. Yeah, it's going to be interesting excited, to tie excited. something up with this thing, but That's beautiful good. home. Thanks a lot. No, thanks for having me, guys.
All right, guys, we are on a 68 foot Sunseeker. It's a 2017 listed by FYI Yachts. And I'm going to take you on a quick tour of this boat, check out the interior. And it's available right now for sale if you're interested. So, here um, is the cruise quarters. If you crack these open, I'll attempt it. They have some some items stored here at the moment, but it accommodates three crew members. That opens up there as well. So it's a really nice space out of the way here, down by the uh, transom area. We walk up towards the, the cockpit. As you can see right away, there's a nice big lounger here. You can lay out, get some sun. Uh, nice comfortable space outside from this retractable uh, sunshade right here, which is another nice option. So plenty of seating here, great for entertaining retractable table here that you can spread out as well if you're sitting in this area and you got your mini bar on this side engine access right here down the center look at this you got some storage if you're like me and like to grill this is an excellent spot to do so uh, you got yourself a little refrigerator area next to it and an ice maker here underneath so let's walk inside and check this out right here Besides opening um, this way, you can actually drop this whole thing down and open this entire area into the elements and just kind of tie all this together, which is pretty cool. Um, but besides that, even if you close it up, you have great air conditioning in here. It's super comfortable and all the ambient lighting you get with all the windows is spectacular. So if you look here, it just adds on to the entertainment with the wine cooler, all your glasses and everything stored really nice there with Nice marble here throughout. Nice, very nice plush seating, a huge couch to be able to sit here um, and just relax in the air conditioning if you want to get out of the out of the heat. And a dining area if you want to sit down and uh, eat with the family. Also very nice. This right here is a panoramic sunroof. So besides getting that natural light in, you can pull this whole piece back and open it up completely so it feels like you're outside just like everyone else back in the cockpit. So a really nice feature. Um, and it's nice any way you like to go about it. So here at the helm, nice elevated vantage point with these helm captain chairs, Simrad electronic units, and you got everything you need here. Um, bow thrusters, autopilot, you know, you got a uh, radar, anything you could ever want in a boat, you have it here to be able to navigate comfortably and safely. So we come down here to the galley area. You can see you got a real nice kitchen. You got your refrigerator freezer. Microwave and a nice spot to be able to cook up a nice meal for uh, friends or family. And we drop right into the master's quarters. So you have a nice queen size bed, office area, seating on the other side. These shades obviously come up to bring in a lot of light into this room. You got your closet right here, TV, and your bathroom head area, which has a private shower, which is extremely, extremely nice to have. Cutting across, we got storage throughout. Here you have a pair of twin berths as well, so you can sleep two more in this bedroom here. Great for the kids. And if you have guests, you have yourself another bathroom here with its own separate shower and another full size berth here at the at the bow. So tons of space for a 68 footer, very well maintained. This boat is available right now by FYI Yachts. So we hope you guys like that tour and if you have any questions whatsoever, give us a call and we'll give you all the details. Thank you very much and great job with that camera work. Um, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this boat a little while.